Nearly 10 million people in the world are living without nationality. Neither the country in which they live or any other country recognize them as their nationals. Imagine a world where you belong nowhere. This is called statelessness. Imaginez que du jour au lendemain, vous vous retrouvez sans passeport, sans carte d'identité ou carte de crédit, sans permis de conduire, sans aucun moyen de prouver qui vous êtes, et imaginez que vous ne puissiez pas envoyer vos enfants à l'école ni vous soigner dans un hôpital. Sadly, stateless individuals have no rights and no protection. They face great suffering. Balima Bukhari is one of an estimated one million West Africans affected by the issue of statelessness. Je vous en prie, je vous en prie, quand on a le pouvoir, quand on a la possibilité de décider du sort des autres, soyez pensé à Dieu, vous aurez pu être dans la situation. Je vous remercie. In February 2015, the UN Refugee Agency and ECOWAS organized a ministerial conference in Ivory Coast to discuss and decide on concrete actions to end statelessness in West Africa. The day's focus is on the exceptionally important subject, a matter that bears not only on the humanity and dignity of thousands of our peoples, but a matter which bears also on the subject of peace and security. The time is désormais à l'action et la mobilisation internationale afin de permettre à nos pays de disposer des instruments et des moyens nécessaires pour mettre fin à la patrie. Identifier en tout cas les cas précis d'apatridie, les groupes de personnes apatrides ou à risque d'apatridie et les raisons et les causes de ce risque ou de cet état d'apatridie. Et à ce moment-là, évidemment, les solutions pourront être trouvées, soit qu'elles soient juridiques, administratives ou euh, euh, législatives. Participants to the conference agreed that statelessness occurs in West Africa for a variety of reasons. The starting off document is the birth certificate. If you belong to an ethnic group and so forth and everything about you is normal and you're, you know, nobody's ever going to challenge you, you will eventually manage to sort out the fact that you don't have a birth certificate. But if you are been trafficked across borders, if you are of the wrong ethnic group, if you are uh, disabled, for example, you are going to have problems establishing your nationality. The emphasis of this three-day conference was on action, how to end statelessness in the next 10 years. The conference brought together 350 experts and high-level personalities. In the context of statelessness, we want to go far, we want to go fast, and we actually want to go together because it's not something that one state on its own can handle, but it's an issue that we all have a shared responsibility on. On the 25th of February 2015, the 15 ECOWAS member states signed a declaration to end statelessness by 2024. Les apatrides, comme vous le savez, c'est des êtres humains qui existent, disons, physiquement, mais qui n'ont pas de statut juridique, euh, une situation qui est totalement inacceptable. Et cette conférence qui est unique, en tout cas en Afrique de l'Ouest, a permis euh, de discuter de ce phénomène. Et ça a été l'occasion pour les États de réitérer leur engagement politique à combattre ce phénomène. This conference brought the, uh, the region together, the member states, uh, and we have had pledges from ministers and other high representatives of the commitment to 
doing something concrete and effective on statelessness. Um, in this regard, we're very pleased that uh, the region has an action plan, 10-year action plan. This declaration will ensure that all West Africans are born with a nationality, while enabling hundreds of thousands of people currently living without a nationality the chance to claim their rights. For people like Belima, the 25th of February 2015 was a milestone event. It was the day he and hundreds of thousands of previously invisible people were recognized, their voices heard, and a commitment to change was made at the highest government level. Eradicate la pacridie en Afrique de l'Ouest et dans le monde d'ici 2024 est un défi majeur. Mais ici, Aujourd'hui, nous avons commencé sur le bon chemin. Il faut que tous les autres pays du monde acceptent que la patrie soit une des plus importantes violations des droits humains de notre temps. Et il faut agir maintenant. Les apatrides vivent en marge de la société, invisibles et sans voix. Mais ma voix sera la leur sur le chemin vers 2024. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday.